Hello, welcome to another video and good morning from the Buckingham Palace Road here in London. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking a bus all the way to Paris and that's not something I've done since I was a kid. Let's go and check it out. We're taking Flixbus all the way to France. Enjoy the video. That's right, today we'll be heading to Bercy Seine bus station underneath Parc de Bercy. From here, Victoria Coach Station in central London. The building was built as far back as 1932 in the Art Deco style for London coastal coaches, but now functions as the main long-distance coach station for the capital. There are several reminders of the building's 90-year history if you look around. There are a few options to grab food. There's a Pret-a-Manger and, for more budget-conscious travellers, a Patisserie Gregory, as well as a couple of other places. So we're not due to leave until 9am and boarding won't start until about 8.45, 8.50. In the meantime, I've gone to Starbucks here in the bus station, got myself a flat white and my breakfast, a pan of chocolat. The view is not exactly the apron at Heathrow from the first class lounge, but it's still nice to watch the comings and goings with a coffee. It's soon time to board, just 10 minutes before we leave. Passengers were accepted right up to departure time and boarding couldn't be simpler. Okay, one C, one D, your seat. Merci, thank you. Our bus appears to be leased from a third party. No distinctive Flixbus green livery, just a sign. But never mind, a bus is a bus, right? So I've got these two seats right at the front. Let's talk tickets. I paid $29.99 one way for this ticket, but when it comes to picking extras, you can actually double up by picking both the option of a front seat and an empty seat next to you in the booking process. Ordinary seat reservations cost just 99p and are not compulsory. For £2.49, you can sit in any of the four panoramic front seats. From there, it's an extra £7.50 to secure a neighbour-free seat, which for me is good value. I'm filming and that can be obnoxious when there's someone next to you and the extra space is always welcome anyway. The legroom in the standard seats is absolutely fine. I'd guess it's about the same as the airlines, if not a bit better. It'll do for the five plus hours of driving we'll do today. We depart at 9am and are scheduled to arrive at 7.30pm Paris local time, a total travel time of 9 hours and 30 minutes, factoring in our ferry crossing and the hours time difference in France. The first part of our journey involves negotiating the 20 mile per hour limits of central London, going east down the River Thames and eventually ending up on the A2, the old Watling Street, the route the Romans built to London from the sea and arguably the most historically significant road in England. So these front seats don't come with added legroom, although there is a fixed table. I might be tempted to avoid these seats on overnight trips as you can't put your legs under the seat in front to really stretch out. Elsewhere, there's an armrest, but curiously only on the aisle side. There isn't one separating the two seats, which isn't ideal. So something I've just noticed as I'm doing the seat review is that although Flixbus say that all of their buses have charge points and Wi-Fi, this bus actually has neither and that's because I think this is a leased bus. It doesn't belong to Flixbus. There's no charge points, no Wi-Fi. It doesn't really bother me because I've got my own power bank and my phone works 
both in the UK and in France, but this is going to bother quite a few people and Flixbus really should be clearer about which buses do and don't have those features because it's really not clear online. Our route to Dover is traffic free and pretty direct, straight across the Medway alongside the Channel Tunnel rail link and we're making great time. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes arrivés à la douane, s'il vous plaît, préparez vos passeports. Please, prepare your passport for check. This is Dover Port. Here we must check in with the ferry company and conduct passport control. Coaches use a separate building. I can't show you inside, but it's all very straightforward and the driver leads you in here before collecting you at the other side. Now, I was expecting a long wait at Dover. We weren't due to cross until 1.15pm, but we managed to sneak on an earlier ferry, as we we're very early. All right, so here we are, we're on the ferry. I've honestly no idea which vessel we're on what time it leaves or what time we arrive, but we're on board and I've got a little bit of a special something off the bus driver. So it turns out DFDS were running a free meal promotion for the buffet restaurant for all their passengers. This was one mighty queue and with such a short crossing, it was time to cut my losses and explore this small but perfectly formed ship. I'd only made it to the back when I realised we were actually already out of port. It was a smooth crossing and Calais can be seen from Dover. So that free meal voucher wasn't quite the godsend I thought it would be. We're about a third of the way to Calais already. It's only a 26 mile crossing, it takes about 90 minutes and there were still a hundred people in front of me in that queue. So I just decided to cut my losses. I'm out here on the sun deck and I'm gonna pick up something from the cafe. So. Oh well, it wasn't something I was expecting anyway. I was expecting to have to pay for my own lunch. So I have managed to get some lunch here in the cafe on board this ship. What do we get actually for our voucher? Well, they did accept it. We've got this chicken Caesar wrap just here, a Pepsi Max, and also um, apparently a locally sourced Kent Tiffin, chocolate and coconut. So we'll see how that goes. There were still people being served in the buffet queue as we drew into Calais. I think I made the right decision backing out of that. As we pull away into France, the weather changes, and I'm glad I missed this on the deck of the ferry. So it turns out we got a ferry one hour and 40 minutes earlier than planned. Quite the achievement. I was expecting a very leisurely crossing, but it turned out to be a little hectic. But I can't really complain. We're now 90 minutes ahead of schedule, and that's a great result. Some England to France Flixbus routes use the train Le Shuttle from Folkestone instead of the ferry, which doesn't have any food facilities. 
These coaches stop at a service area in France. We, however, will not. We're now direct to Paris. I thought I'd check out the loo here on this bus. It's about halfway down um, the coach. And to be honest, I'm quite glad that I went to the toilet on the ferry. This is not great. We're towards the end of the journey, but if you look, we've got no toilet paper left. Not ideal. And as you'd expect, it's a pretty cozy space. But anyway, this is what a long distance bus toilet's like. Ah, charges. Now I didn't think they'd be here. Maybe I should read more closely. The website mentions numerous plug sockets and tellingly instructs you to ask the driver where to find them. Maybe a clue they weren't under or next to the seat, but it's not exactly explicit. So there are charges, but you can't use your phone while it's charging. Not great and not really the selling point of charge points. But really, on reflection, was this trip good value? Well, I went for the posh option, costing just under £40, and I have to say, I enjoyed my day. But it was a day, a full day. This is the slowest way to get to France. Would I do it again? I don't think so. It's not marketed for someone like me who needs to be somewhere fast. But it is an objectively decent service. The driver was friendly, spoke both languages well, took control of immigration and check-in formalities, and you can board an international bus just a minute before it leaves. You can't expect perfection on the slowest, cheapest way to get somewhere. But an arrival over 80 minutes ahead of schedule, and the chance to take the ferry again like I did in my school days, made for an experience I didn't regret. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with something a bit posher. Bye for now.